All right, everyone, it's Mr. Zero X here, and words on my game. So a lot of you have asked a couple of questions about the game. I've answered them mostly in the comments, and uh, there's some things I can't tell you till the game's actually done, you know, or closer to being finished. So at the, quite, at the um, time right now, basically I'm just asking anyone out there who has any interest in making a game or working along someone who is making a game, you know, whether for commercial purpose or not, um, if you want to, you know, talk to me a little bit here and let me know if you're interested because I'm basically in need of a 3D modeler, in need of a uh, scripter analysis, basically, or a assistant, I should say. I basically need someone to, you know, check over things I do or maybe give me information that I just don't know. Um, so that's something, you know, that I kind of want. Um, don't necessarily need a uh, scripter at the moment, but I do need a 3D modeler. Um, even an artist, even if you can draw, you know, I'm quite interested in working with you because, you know, sometimes I have an idea, but I can't exactly explain it. You know, someone who's a drawer, an artist, you know, may be able to explain the things I'm trying to do in my game. So to make the game work a little bit faster and get, you know, going more with this, it would help if I had more participants rather than one person, you know what I mean? Uh, which is myself. So anyway, I know a couple of you have said, you know, you like music and stuff and you would be willing to make some music for the game. Uh, one, of the, one of which being uh, Retro Roadshow, which was really nice of him to even be checking out this channel because I didn't know that anyone was even watching the channel at the time. You know, I released the video uh, with barely any care to it because I didn't think, you know, no one was going to watch it anyway, especially not people that I really liked off YouTube. So it was quite nice to, you know, get some feedback. Um, it was even nice to see Jurassic Junkies, uh, you know, video, uh, comments there too. So that was really nice of that. But, um, Basically what I'm saying is, you know, if you're into music and you really want to, you know, get your music known, um, working with me in my game would, you know, eventually basically get you some, what do you call, reputation. So if you're interested in uh, working with me on this game, you know, just let me know. Um, I'm open to all styles of music, you know, if you can just play the keyboard, or if you um, have one of those MIDI programs on your computer, which is, you know, I have too, um, and you want to make something, you know, that's really elaborate that I can't do, you know, feel free. Even if it's very simple, don't feel, you know, hesitant to um, say, hey, I've got something, would you like to see it, you know? So, what I'm basically saying here is I need help. We don't, no one here is, you know, has to help me here. Um, even if you just want to be a tester, let me know, because it's all in, very important. Um, when the game is actually finished, you know, it's going to retail for about, you know, five to ten dollars. Hopefully no more than that. Um, the reason why it's only going to, why it's going to be even five to ten dollars is basically because, and it may be more. Don't quote me here on this price, but the only reason why it's going to be even that much, or maybe even a slightly bit more, it's just because I'm going to be making my own website, which I myself can do. But if you're interested in working on that too, you know, I know Jurassic Junkie, you uh, do that kind of stuff as well. I don't know entirely um, if you'd want to work with this, but if you're interested in some ideas, you know, maybe we can work together on that. But um, I'm very capable of doing my own stuff with it. But um, if you know some good prices for like uh, server hosting, and let me know about that. You know, someone who can you know maintain and host the uh, website, that'd be pretty cool too. Um, although I know how to do that, it's just not in my best interest to do it all myself because that would make the game take even longer to make. So the more people I'm working on this, the better. Now, since it is going to be a commercial interest of some kind, I don't know how much it's going to be. So that's what I'm saying, some kind. Um, basically, you know, the website's going to cost money to at least maintain and keep up there. Um, if I make it, it's not going to cost me any money to make, but it's going to cost money to keep up. So, you know, it's monthly or yearly, depending on what you do. Um, but the point of the matter is, it's going to cost money in some way or another. Um, I'm, also, uh, I'm, also, I'm going to also buy the license to, um, you know, Unity or one of the engines I decide to use. Currently, I'm using Unity. But I may move over to Unreal 3, or um, the Unreal, I think it's Unreal 3 engine, uh, the one that just became, what do you call, uh, free. It's not free, but it's free until you make about $50,000 and then you're going to pay royalties. Now, since I'm not really thinking I'm ever going to make $50,000 uh, with this game, I'm kind of interested in working with, working with it. But the thing is, it's a little bit more difficult to use. I've seen some videos on it. It's like basically having 3DS Max built into um, a game engine, from what I can see. Now, I haven't used it and I haven't downloaded it yet because the one reason is I don't have enough memory on my computer to actually, you know, temper with all these different engines. Um, so, you know, it's going to cost money for the license, though. If I buy a engine license, you know what I mean, so I have the right to commercially sell it, 
And with Unity, it'll give me more, you know, features such as the light and shadows, you know, you get the hard shadows, the soft shadows, and um, gives you a couple other, you know, options that you just don't have with the basic, you know, setup. So that's one of the reasons why it's going to be, you know, money at all. And I've got to make back what I put into this game, you know, or at least most of what I put into this game to make any profit. Basically, you know, it's going to cost the money. That's what I have to say. It's going to take a while. Don't know how long it's going to take. May take six months, may take less. Who knows? Um, the game I'm making is a very, you know, extensive game. So it is a little bit, you know, harder than what I thought it would be because it's big. It's really, really big. You know, it's what she said, but it's quite, it's huge. I mean, it just is. I mean, the game has so much to offer in, you know, exploration. But the thing is, the game isn't really done yet, so it's, no, it's nowhere done, to, it's nowhere close to being done, I should say. But the idea and the story is done for the game. Um, not all the ideas are done, though, I should say that, though it's not all done. So if you have ideas for a game, uh, keep in mind this is an adventure, you know, slash uh, adventure action game. Basically, like I said before in the other video, if you haven't seen it, um, you should go see it because um, I did take out that level in the game and I changed it completely. But uh, the point of the matter is you can see what kind of graphics that the game will have. Um, I did up the graphics just slightly and with the shadow system, if I buy the engine, it will look a lot nicer. And before the game is released, I will go through and I will make sure all the textures look great. Um, but that's not the problem at this moment. Um, so the real thing, as I was saying, is um, basically, you know, the game itself, you know, isn't done at all, you know, but if you have ideas for anything, even textures, if you have textures of your own that you've made, and they're high definition textures, mind you, I don't want low textures. Um, if you do have low textures, I'm working on a few other games, and I may be able to use them, so if you want to, you know, give them to me royalty free, you know, then feel free to, I can't, you know, dis I'm not going to down free things. But um, if you have high definition textures and you're willing to, you know, put them into the game and work with them, you know, but you're not really, you don't want me to buy them, you just want to give them to me to see them in a game, you know, because um, someone like myself, I'm very good with textures, but I'm not the best at making objects, you know, and models and all that stuff. I'm horrible. I barely understand anything to do with it. Uh, 3ds Max is like a beast that I just don't understand. Um, I have a book in my bedroom right now. Uh, written by a professor that I've actually taken a class with and he's probably the worst teacher I've ever had But I bought a book from him for about sixty seventy dollars that he actually wrote so um, I, It's an animation book, but it's not a 3d modeling book. So as for animation I should be working on that pretty well. Um, I understand a lot of it a lot of it a lot of it But it's it's still complicated if you don't have an actual um, What do you call uh, models to work with now? I've taken some offline so I have some uh, 3D models in my collection to, you know, practice with, basically. And I made some, um, one of my own 3D models. I took a previous model and I edited, you know, the textures and a lot and uh, changed some features to make it my own, which I don't know if that's technically 100% legal, but did. And it's just a practice, you know, uh, thing. It was an army soldier. So um, the way I changed them around and all that made him pretty much unidentifiable to the creator. But it's just the point. It is pretty cool. And, um, you know, it's really fucking hard. So if you don't understand everything to do with, you know, making a game, having more people working with you is always the best way to do it. Even if you do understand how to make a game and everyone understands the same things as you, it's still good to have more than one person working on this. So that is why I'm asking all of you on YouTube, um, if you're not subscribed to me, don't feel free, you, you don't have to subscribe here uh, to be a part of this, but I would like you to. Not only do I need subscribers, but I just need, you know, participation in this game. So if you subscribe to me, it's much easier to keep in contact with me. So for this, uh, to keep in contact, if you're interested, I will end up giving you my email so you can contact me there. But you should also subscribe here so you can keep up to date with the videos and all that. If you feel a little embarrassed to comment, you know, down below, uh, send me a personal message. Um, and even if you do comment down below, feel free to send me personal messages. It's all okay. Um, I've caught up with all my uh, messages. So you should have gotten all your messages and all your comments that you sent to me. Um, you should have had some type of reply. Um, so that's about it now. And if you need anything at all right now, just let me know. So basically, contact me if you want to be a part of this. And if you don't, let me know as well. Now, so anyway, um, it's been Mr. Zero X here. There'll be another video tonight. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you.